Arsenal fans moaning about the club's lack of transfer activity can blame Marcin Wenger again after it emerged it cost the board close to £17 million to sack him. The Frenchman left the Emirates at the end of last season after 22 years in charge with a season remaining on his contract. Venguez's payout has caused Arsenal in the transfer market accounts show the club paid out the 69-year-old, who was on around £8 million a year, for at least the remaining 12 months of his deal, the Times reports. Many of Venguez's coaching team also received payoffs, although assistant Steve Bold was kept on when Unai Emery took charge in May. Goalkeeping coach Jens Lehmann, who this week joined Bundesliga club Augsburg as goalkeeping coach, and Boro Primorak, who had been first-team coach since 1997, were among those to follow Wenger out the door. The accounts state, exceptional costs are attributable to the changes to the first-team management, coaching and support staff. The twilight of Wenger's tenure became toxic, protests against his retention were regular throughout the final years of his spell most of the costs were included in the annual wage bill. But even without those extra outgoings, Arsenal's spend on salaries rose by 12% to £223.3 million. A lack of funds has meant that Emery has been forced to look for loan deals during the January window rather than splash out on permanent signings. He has been linked with a loan move for Barcelona playmaker Denis Suarez, but that has been hampered by the Spanish club's demands that a buy-on clause be included in any deal. Venga's £17 million windfall has had a knock-on effect for Ana Emery. The Spaniard is also in desperate need of defensive reinforcements, with Hector Bellerin, Laurent Koscielny, Rob Holding and Socrates all ruled out of action. Asked this week how many players he wants, Emery said, between 0 and 2. If they aren't coming to help us like we want, then we would prefer them to not come. Two because we are looking at two different players who have the possibility to come here. Oxlade Chamberlain's £35 million move to Liverpool helped the Gunners' accounts asked if he would be disappointed with no signings. He added, No, because we were speaking about these possibilities two months ago, but we know it's not easy. Emery's spending plans have been further hit by Arsenal's failure to make the Champions League this season, with chairman Sir Chips Keswick admitting that being in the Europa League has tightened the purse strings. Overall revenue was down from £422.8 million to £388 million last year, although profits were still at £56 million thanks to the sale of players including Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain, Olivier Giroud and Theo Walcott. Arsenal will be looking to bounce back from Friday's 3-1 FA Cup defeat to Manchester United and get their bid for a tie.